Now, I'm a huge Kirby fan. It's probably my favorite Nintendo franchise. I did not see that at all. No, no, it's I fine. I thought you were yeah. like those big manly violent no, games. No, no, that's fine. Like, uh, trust me when I say that Kirby's probably easily hands down my, my favorite Nintendo franchise. So I heard that there was a new Kirby game coming out. For the Wii U, I'm like, oh my god, this sounds fantastic. And then they said it was like Canvas Curse, and I didn't know what to think. And now we really? have Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush. I yeah, don't play Canvas also, Curse. Also known as Kirby and the Rainbow uh, Curse, and the Rainbow Paintbrush here in yes. Australia, because as we all know, we're not allowed to have Kirby on the box art with angry eyes. That's only that's an American true. thing, that's true. and that's serious, guys. That's but anyway, back serious. to the game. So you never played Canvas Curse? I didn't, and so I know I know the style of game it is. Basically, you, yep. you draw a line, and Kirby follows it yep. um, to whatever objectives, and he has like certain powers, like he transforms at a couple of points, mm -hmm. and you tap him to move him and things like that. So I understood what it was, but being a fan of the traditional platformers and having recently gone to Japan, I just loaded up while I was over there and yep. put all the games I missed. So to me, I hadn't experienced that kind of game outside of, say, like an iPad or an iOS. And yes. So coming into it, was, it was interesting uh, to see not only that it, it carries over a lot of the similar things, but the actual look of it, the plasticine look, is just... Amazing. It one. reminds me of all those Saturday morning cartoons you watched on the ABC yeah. and SBS. The, the cartoons between cartoons. All the claymations, yeah, yeah. that kind of deal. And it's very charming, it's very cutesy, and I mean, Kirby, he doesn't have to try too hard to be cute. Uh, doesn't The game must, doesn't have to try hard to be really charming. No. Like, just all the enemies, the enemy design, things like that is perfect. Now, the game is a complete departure from their traditional Kirby yeah. platforms. Everything is done entirely through the stylus. Um, it's incredibly responsive, just like Canvas Curse. It Probably one of the, good, yeah. the best Kirby spin-offs there is. And I guess because you're not relying on your finger like you would on an iPad or whatever, yeah, it works it's fine. it's very precise. The flip side of it is you also get multiplayer. So you can have up to, I think it's three Waddle Dees uh, join mm -hmm. you as well. And they aren't restricted the same as you. They can jump, they can do all that kind of stuff. So you can kind of break the game a little bit doing that. And mm -hmm. it also works for certain collectibles and stuff. But did I like it as much as the traditional ones? It's a different kind of game. Um, if you look at it, as not a traditional Kirby platformer, I think you'll enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy Canvas Curse? Absolutely. So maybe, maybe if you like Canvas Curse, you'll enjoy this as well.